Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the new Hitachi cooling and heating maintenance platform. Uh, it's called Haikumo Pro and it's a pretty deadly piece of software which has loads of useful functions that I'm going to be talking about with you today. Um, the installation here that you can see on our system is our showroom unit which is a beautiful looking S combi with the uh, domestic hot water system that integrated into the hydro unit which is obviously very nice. Um, Brilliantly, my personal email address is registered as the homeowner, so I could get it up and running. Um, so I'm sure I'll get some fantastic emails after this. Anyway, let's dive straight in. So this is just a live uh, indication of what's going on at the moment. Our unit's been sort of turned off because the training course has ended for today. Um, so that's all done and dusted. As you can see, everything's off there. Um, if I click our Hitachi Air to Water product, um, you can see some very useful live data uh, straight off the bat, um, like software versions. Um, this is just letting us know that our communication between the indoor and the outdoor unit is all okay. And our communications from our ATW, <coughs> ATW tag gateway and our high box is all okay there as well. Um, it also gives us some live data about the water, so water flow levels, water pump speeds, water inlet, water outlet. Temperatures is all pretty handy stuff to know straight off the bat. Um, this here is very useful as well. So you just pop in your indoor unit and your outdoor unit serial numbers, um, which is obviously a very good way to track all of your units if you're an installer with your own Haikumo account um, and you've got more than one installation out there in the field or if you've got loads of installations out there in the field, um, it would just be a good, nice and easy way to track uh, your systems. Uh, this here is just some more live data about what's going on at the moment. Um, so obviously zone one is our, our heating circuit. Um, obviously we know it's all stopped, but this is just telling you what the water setting temperatures up would be. Um, and the fact that we're running it on weather comp in gradient mode. Um, DHW is over here on the right, so it gives us our setting temperature, what mode we're in, the Legionellas, the, Legio the Legionellas temperatures. Um, and this is sort of the main party piece here, really, the outdoor unit data. Obviously, this is going to be incredibly handy um, if you're trying to diagnose a, uh, a problem with a system, you know, over the web or, or over the phone. You just tap here and have a little look at all the, all the refrigerant temperatures there. Um, compressor running currents and all that jazz is obviously going to be very handy for, for systems that are causing you a load of grief as this is basically like having a fridge engineer there without having a fridge engineer there, which always comes in handy. Um, another useful thing that you can do is uh, in the history section, <coughs> which is where you can essentially plot any of the unit sensors over time, over, over the course of the last five days. Um, which uh, obviously comes in handy again. Um, so for example, if I take here the water flow level um, and then I plot that over the last five days, you can see that our unit obviously hasn't run very much or in our case hasn't run at all. But if you had a system that was up and running and, you know, when you when you put it in, it was running at 0.8 meters cubed an hour and then you plotted it out and you could see that it was slowly falling over time, you'd know that when it gets about here, you'll probably want to go in and clean the filters or check and make sure the pumps are running OK uh, and all that jazz. So that's another uh, handy thing there. Obviously, there's loads of things you can plot against each other. You know, mixing valve positions, operation statuses, again, with the refrigerant temperatures, um, expansion valves, when it goes into defrost, alarms. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's another useful tool that you could use there. Um, another thing, if you wanted to give the unit a quick test run, you can fire in some very basic demand, uh, commands. Um, some general commands like stopping and starting and heating, switching between heat and cooling. Um, adjusting your eco mode offsets um, and then you can also run your DHW you can force it in to do a Legionella function uh, on a quick time um, so that always comes in handy as well it's just a, it's just a pretty exciting piece of kit um, for for the engineers that you know have a have a few systems on the on the go at the same time and can't necessarily get out to all of them 
you know, you can just, even if you give us a call, we'll tap in, have a quick little look, let you know what needs to be done before you go there. Um, so yeah, it's just the, it's just some of the things that the, uh, the high Kumo pro can do. Um, obviously if you, if you were to get this, the, the homeowner would obviously have the, the app where they can control their unit over the web as well. Um, high Kumo is a very pretty little app, um, which, uh, the homeowner can sort of use to, you know, set up basic timers for heating, uh, turn it on and off in heat and hot water modes, adjust the hot water temperatures, switch between modes and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's an exciting prospect and, um, yeah, it'd be nice to see how they, how they develop this in the future. So yeah, peace out.